Waking up knowing there's a reason All my dreams come alive Life is for living with you I've made my decision You lift me up, fill my eyes with wonder For every young in your love This freedom's untainted with you No moment is wasted
Jesus. And we're going to pray. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for being here with me. We invite you into this place. We invite you into our home. And we ask, Lord, that you would speak to our hearts. Help us to remember that we can have new life with you. I pray that we would listen and obey your word and help us, Jesus, to put your word in our heart today. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome job, everybody. So now that we've prayed, it's time to worship. So I want everybody to get up on their feet. I want you to get your wiggle shoes on. And I want you to worship Jesus with me. I am free. You broke the chains that were holding me. All of my sins have been washed out. I am forgiven and I believe. I believe that I am free. I'm not going back, yes, I'm free. Jesus, you're all that I'll So all my feet 
I'm free. Jesus, you're all that I'll ever need. I am forgiven and I believe. I believe nothing is impossible. So all my fears, I'm letting go. I'm letting go. There is power. One. Everybody, you guys are real worshipers. I love your worship and I know Jesus does too. Wow, let's jump into our lesson today. We've been talking about the life of Jesus. It's been fascinating to learn about his life. Last week we talked about watching and praying. Have you been watching and praying? I hope so. This week we're going to learn that Jesus did not stay dead, buried in the tomb, but he rose again and he is alive. Isn't that exciting news? Today we can have new life because Jesus rose from the dead. Say that with me. I can have new life because Jesus rose from the dead. Great job. Okay, so some of you have been able to make puppets with our digital resources. And some of you have sock puppets, okay? And some of you have your imaginary puppets. All those puppets are okay. So I want you to get your puppets ready and you're gonna follow along with the story. Before we start this story, I want to read a verse of scripture. Matthew 28, 6. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. Those are the words that the angel spoke to the people who followed Jesus. So I have a question for you before we get our puppets out. Think about a time when you were so excited. The most excited you have ever been. What did you do when you were excited? Did you jump up and down? Did you wiggle? Did you squeal? Did you shake and wave your arms? Did you say yay? Okay, I want you to think about that excitement as we talk about what the disciples did when they found out that Jesus was alive. Okay, go ahead and find your disciple puppets and I want you to get them out. I want you to put them on, okay? And you got your disciple puppets. Okay, oops, I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna get our disciple puppets back on. Okay, the disciples of Jesus were sad. You show me your disciple puppets. Mm. Jesus was dead. 
their best friend. Can you make your disciple puppet sad? The disciples loved Jesus. They followed him. They believed he was the promised Messiah. They thought he would be the king who rescued them from the enemy. When he died on the cross, they lost their hope. Okay, put your disciple puppets down and find your lady puppets. Okay, it was Sunday morning. Everybody say Sunday morning. I love Sunday morning. It was the first day of the week. Just as the sun rose, the women who loved Jesus and followed him, they were walking to the tomb. As they walked, the women talked to each other. I'm so sad that Jesus died. Who's gonna roll the stone away? When the women arrived at the tomb, they were surprised. Can you make your puppet surprised? Oh, she's a little too much surprised. Okay, make your women surprised. <gasps> okay, the tomb was open. <gasps> the stone was rolled away. <gasps> oh my goodness. They were even more surprised when they saw an angel. <gasps> an angel? What would you do if you saw an angel? The angel said, he is not here. He is risen as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. The women looked in the empty tomb. Jesus was not inside. The angel told the women to go tell the disciples that Jesus had risen from the dead. Oh, what are we gonna do? It's so exciting. Okay, so put your angel puppet down and get out your Jesus puppet. The women turned to leave. They were so excited and they were happy and they were going to go tell the disciples. As they walked away from the tomb, <gasps> Jesus met them. Oh, it's so exciting. What would you do if you were sad and you had lost Jesus and all of a sudden he walked right into you? How do you think the women felt when they saw Jesus? Oh, remember that so excited time that you were the most excited you've ever been? I wonder if that's how they felt. Jesus told them, go tell my disciples that I am alive and will see them soon. The, Jesus, the women hurried back to the disciples. They said, oh, oh, okay, so put your Jesus puppet down and get out your disciple puppet. Oh, they were hurrying and they were hurrying and they, and they saw the disciples. They said, disciples, disciples, Jesus is alive. He is risen from the dead. Some of the disciples were surprised. Oh, they said, I can't believe it. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Some disciples believed they were, they were having a hard time believing what the ladies were saying. Are, are you sure? Are you sure that he's alive? Are you sure what you saw? And the lady said, yes, yes, he's alive. And he said to come and tell you. Okay, so put one of your disciples down and I want you to get your Jesus puppet out. So that night they were all gathered together and the door was locked. But all of a sudden, <gasps> Jesus appeared. All of a sudden, the door was locked. How did he get in? Jesus showed them his hands and feet where the nails had been. He ate food with them. He talked with them. The disciples stopped being sad. They were so happy. They stopped being scared. The disciples knew that Jesus had risen from the dead. Jesus told them to tell everybody they knew that Jesus is alive. The disciples agreed and they were excited to tell the good news. Jesus is alive. Great job, everybody. What a great puppet show. 
you guys can put your puppets down and I want you to find your activity paper. Good job. All right, in your digital resources, your parents probably have printed out your activity paper. If you don't have an activity paper, that's okay. I just want you to follow along with us and draw the pictures as we talk about them, okay? So we talk about Jesus dying on the cross and how we can have new life because of what Jesus did for us. This activity paper is gonna show you why it's so important to remember what Jesus did for us. So I want you to find the picture of the boy repenting. I want you to find the picture of the little boy praying and repenting. Jesus died on the cross. When we repent, when we ask Jesus to forgive us, when we say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins, clean my heart, help me to be clean. It reminds us that Jesus died to take away our sins. So go ahead and glue your picture of the boy repenting in the square underneath the cross. Good job. Okay, next I want you to find the picture of someone being baptized. Have you been baptized in Jesus' name? If you haven't, you can be baptized anytime. Just talk to your moms and dads. Jesus was buried in the tomb. They put him in a tomb. When we're baptized in Jesus' name, it helps bury our old ways and our old sins. It just buries them under the water and under Jesus' name. We are washed clean from sin. So glue your picture of baptism underneath a picture of the tomb. Awesome job, you guys. So find the picture of the boy worshiping and he's receiving the Holy Ghost. Jesus rose again to new life, just like we talked about today. When we receive the Holy Ghost or God's Spirit in our hearts, because Jesus is alive and His Spirit can live in our hearts, we have a new life. As the Holy Ghost fills us, we begin to be filled with His Spirit, and that's when we speak in tongues. So glue your picture of the boy receiving the Holy Ghost underneath the picture of Jesus rising from the dead. I can have new life because Jesus rose from the dead. Guys, you can have new life. How many of you have experienced that new life? How long has it been since you've talked to Jesus and, and asked him to clean out your heart and fill you with that spirit? How many of you haven't experienced that yet? You can experience that today. And we're gonna pray that God fills us with that new life. God fills us with his spirit. Okay, we're gonna pray and I want you to close your eyes, okay? We're gonna close your eyes because that means that it's just you and Jesus. Then I want you to lift your hands. You've seen me do this a lot of times. We're gonna lift our hands because that means that we're surrendering, we're giving our hearts to Jesus. Then when we talk to Jesus, we don't whisper. We use our big, voices because he created our voices to worship him so we're going to use our big voices to worship and last i want you to think about jesus on the cross and he dying for you 
let's just take a minute and ask Jesus to forgive us right now. Lord, forgive me, Jesus. Clean out my heart. Lord, I've done some things that I'm sorry for. I'm sorry for the things that don't please you and the things that are wrong. God, forgive me. Clean out my dirty heart. Help me have a clean heart, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me so I could have a new life. Thank you, Jesus. That was a great job repenting. Now, if you want to receive the Holy Ghost, we're going to ask Jesus to come and fill us up right now. Close your eyes, lift your hands, lift your big voice, and I want you to tell Jesus exactly what you want. Lord Jesus, thank you for forgiving me. Thank you, Jesus, for cleaning out my heart. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Lord, I pray you would fill me with your spirit. God, I want your spirit living in my heart. Lord, I love you, Jesus. I worship you, Lord. I want to live for you every day, Lord Jesus. Help me to make good decisions for you, Lord. I love you. I love you, Jesus. As Jesus is touching you right now, just keep worshiping him and let Jesus fill you with his spirit. Lord, I love you, Jesus. I worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. You are so so good. I love you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, fill us up with your presence. Fill us up with your spirit, Jesus. Help us to have new life, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus, in our hearts, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Remember, as Jesus fills you up, that spirit will just bubble over. And if there's funny words that come out of your mouth, that's Jesus and you talking. So just let that happen. Jesus is here. Jesus is with you. And he will be with you forever. He loves you so much. I pray that you would find new life this week. And always remember that Jesus is with you. I'll see you next week.